Hi, welcome to our second part of our WinUAE installation guide. In the first part, we left with a, a basic hard drive installation with our boot disk installed on there. And this is what it looks like when you install Workbench 3.1 on there, an example of. And uh, these are the kinds of elements that you get with a full Workbench. So let's install a second hard drive to our system. Uh, which we will later install all our games to. So let's go ahead and remove that test hard drive for now. And uh, the first thing we will need to set up our new hard drive is the PFS file system version 5.3. And when you uh, find the PS3 archive on our minute and unpack the archive, this is what it looks like. And we're really interested in data ing fs which uh, lists all the file system uh, files we will need to use for this installation and now that we have those files unpacked we will need to move those file systems into the file systems directory in win uae like this so now that we've added those file systems we can now go ahead and add a, add a sample hard drive i'm just going to create a four meg uh, hard drive for this but i'd recommend uh, at least a 400 meg partition and uh, for the games that we will create and so we can give this a sample name and we will pull that up in the path requester and under the file systems we will choose the um, PFS or 20 file system and it's important to choose uh, a CPU configuration um, which matches your own and DHO and it's important to enable RGB mode so that we can access those drives on our Amiga. Just uh, switch the uh, PC partitions on there as well. So the first thing we need to do is to um, copy the file systems over uh, to the L directory of Workbench. So if we find the place where we unpacked the archive on our PC drive, we can then uh, go into data again, um, ing fs, and we can then copy the file systems to the L directory of our Amiga. And we will need to use those later on to install our hard drive. So now we have all those file systems, we can then quit this and reset the machine with our PC drives removed and we will get something like this. So the next step is to either use HD Toolbox or HD Install Tools to then recognize our new drive. Just as I showed you in part one, you go to Define New, Read Configuration and that will read the rigid disk block of our new our drive, as it says, test 3 there, just to confirm it's the right one. And then we can change that to DHO, and under the advanced options we can then remove the fast file system from the rigid disk block and add a file system in the L directory uh, on our workbench Amiga L partition. And for this I'm going to use the all 20 ds version. And with the DS version, we can s have up to an 8 gig hard drive. And for the DOS type, all type uh, 00, 6Fs followed by an E. And uh, OK that. Now we can change our custom file system to the one we've just created. And if we take a look at this guide uh, created by Peter on the English Amiga board website, we can see the mask and the max transfer and the buffers. So uh, I will change the max transfer to max that. Treble zero one F E double zero and uh, OK that. And remember to increase the uh, buffers up to about 300 as well. So if I then save those changes to the hard drive like this, it should then be possible to exit that system and reboot. 
When workbench is loaded again from our workbench disk, our new DHO will not be recognized, so we can format that disk, uh, give it a quick format, and the requester will pop up just to prove that we are using Profile System 3. And that disk is now ready to use and install software, games, or anything like that onto. So, what happens if you want to use Profile System on Workbench 1.3? Well, Tony Willen has created a, a nice patch for this on the WinUAE uh, system, uh, which is listed on the uh, AB website. And when you get the archive, you'll find two handlers in there which are compatible with Workbench 1.3. Uh, this uh, installing one of these ensures that your system is 100% compatible with all workbenches and if you copy those handlers into the file systems again like we did earlier in the WinUAE archive we can then uh, create uh, our new hard drive using those file systems so let's remove the old one and add a new one again let's just create a sample a hard drive for this. I would certainly recommend a hard drive bigger than 4 meg. So let's create that and give it a title. Um, Test HD PFS 3, that should be ample. And then we can select that in the file requester. And in our file systems, we can select the file system for that. Uh, go into the file systems uh, drawer in WinUAE and for this I'd recommend the PFS Kickstart 1.3 handler rather than the O20 as advertised just to make sure you get full 1.3 compatibility enable RGB mode as we did before and uh, call the device DHO and OK that and then we should be able to add the PC hard drives again and reset and again the hard drive won't be recognized at this stage so we have to find the same location on our PC hard drive where we installed those special handlers and copy those into the L directory on our workbench disk so here they are copy those over to L so just like this I'm using directory opus 4 for this which is available for free on Aminet just makes the whole experience a lot easier and now those files are on our Amiga L directory uh, just remove those PC hard drives we can then go into HD toolbox or HD install tools and uh, configure the hard drive again so let's have a look at it. Click on that, change drive type, read it in again. Pops up as PFS3, so that's the right one. And OK that. And there it is, OK. And then we can partition the drive. And... Uh, ignoring the buffer at the beginning of the hard drive that only appears on a very very small hard drive like what we are using DHO and in the advanced options again we can then uh, remove the uh, fast file system uh, from the rigid disk block like this delete and then let's add our new file system and for this we will need to enter the file system name precisely which is um, PFS3 DS handler kickstart 1.3 well 1.3 handler and OK that and if it's recognized it should come up with version 18 there under the version so let's change the mask again so that we can recognize that 0x00 FFFFFFE and um, if we forget let's just double check Peter's post on the uh, EAB website so we can now go ahead and type that uh, 
add OK. And it will appear, version 18, that's the right one. And then we can change the file system again to our mask there. And the mask will need to be changed to 0x7, 6Fs and an E. And just to uh, double check that, we can uh, check the mask, 0, 7, 6 Fs and an E. So that will need to be changed from the one that we have there to match the rest. And also we need the max transfer, 0, X, treble 0, 1, F, E, double 0, the exact same that we entered on the uh, previous installation. triple zero one f e double zero and okay that and uh, increase the buffers to 300 and save that to the drive now when we exit uh, this system the drive will now be set up with PFS 3 uh, the much faster file system than fast file system and also much more stable and also no problems with data corruption either with PFS3 which makes it well worth an install we can then give that uh, volume a label and quick format that drive and if we're doing this correctly it will again pop up with the PFS3 DS uh, pop-up box there to make sure it's the right one and that will work now uh, and we can install all our games onto our newly formatted PFS3 partition. And just to prove this thing works under Kickstart 1.3, here's uh, a different PFS3 drive being tested under Workbench 1.3. The familiar blue screen there. And just wait for this to load. This is uh, definitely Workbench 1.3 and we can see uh, this is our new hard drive with PFS3 on there and this is our standard file system drive, standard workbench drive. No idea why it comes up DHON DOS there but that's just a gold star icon. The, uh, the files is definitely the PFS3 which works under workbench 1.3. So thanks for viewing this guide, look out for part 3 soon.